Welcome back to the 2020 Eurovision Song Contest. COVID cancel. We had to. We're, we're filming in basement. On with the music. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to JBox Studios, your home for reviews, reactions, and ridiculousness. Anyways, though, I was able to check out a movie a couple days earlier. It's landing on Netflix this Friday, and it's the one and only Eurovision Song Contest, The Story of Fire Saga. Two small-town singers chase their pop star dreams at a global music competition where rivals, high stakes, and on-stage mishaps test their bond. So does this goofy faux look at the Eurovision Song Contest a must-see on Netflix? Let's find out. But before I get into my thoughts, let me know what you guys thought of Eurovision if you've already seen this film or very much now looking forward to it. Now let's get into some of the good. This movie is sort of exactly what I wanted. I mean, it's a mixture of Blades of Glory thrown in with Pitch Perfect with a little bit of hint of teen spirit as well. I mean, it's taken that Blades of Glory vibe into the Eurovision Song Contest, so you're getting all of these goofy kind of costumes and characters and songs that they're performing for this contest to get into the final round. And yeah, I just like the kind of goofy faux look at this serious song contest, but going into the world of it with ridiculous outfits and characters and each of the country like stereotypes and song vibes coming into the mix for that. So I think that that was the biggest thing that really jumped out at me is the vibe goofy take on this song contest. But then getting into the characters, uh, Will Ferrell and Rachel McAdams and even Dan Stevens for a bit. I mean, those two, uh, Rachel McAdams and Will Ferrell are the main characters, this kind of duo of uh, will they, won't they kind of relationship throughout this movie. But I love their dynamic. I love the accents, even though they slip a few times. But the dialogue that they are given is very funny especially combined with the, the the outfits and the persona that they are trying to embody of these s icelandic singers that want to make it big their dream is eurovision so you can just see how this brings up all of these sort of scrambles and you know the 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 other singers from these countries coming in and kind of you know maybe trying to tear apart the group and whatnot so i thought that everyone portrayed their characters especially the countries that they were coming from perfectly and it was just so goofy and fun like i said it's blades of glory mixed in with pitch perfect and not only do they take like a goofy faux look but like there's some weird things to this movie like weird cutaways that i don't know if they added in after the fact but i really appreciate it because i like just weird goofy something that's a little bit unique and it has like these weird cutaways of like whales jumping up or like a ghost of someone or elves for some odd reason like it it is pretty weird movie but it fits the tone of everything that they're trying to do i mean obviously eurovision is a real thing and then they make it weird but then the music we gotta talk about the music because this is probably the highlight of this film i wouldn't say that it's like perfect music it does have some very catchy tunes they do some kind of cool remixes of covers there's specifically one scene where they're going through a house and singing and kind of playing back and forth with all of their styles which i thought was probably a highlight of the film but the unique songs of like lion lover uh volcano man ya ya ding dong which i thought was so funny hopefully i can put something in right here But also other songs like Double Trouble and I'm Coolin' With My Homies. Like, yeah, I'm Coolin' With My Homies is a song in this movie. And I think that, yeah, this the, the music and the goofy tone that they take is by far the standouts for myself. However, through this movie, I mean, it's about two hours, so I wouldn't say that it's a super long runtime. But some of the pacing, some of the scenes, some of the sections of the film seem to drag a bit. And I think it's between the performances, maybe some of the conflict and resolution between some of the characters or some of the other groups throughout this movie. It dragged. It, it kind of lost my attention. And there's a little bit of a subplot of someone trying to sabotage someone in this contest and it sounds like i'm very high on this eurovision movie which i am i love the style the vibe the outfits the music but i feel like they went to an eight they they needed to go to an 11 maybe even a 12 like they needed to go wacky weird with this with bringing in even more ridiculous characters 
uh, countries, music, songs, outfits, uh, just set pieces and musical choices or dancing choreography. Like, I wanted them to go absolutely bonkers with this, and they, I think they should have. They should have. I really thought that that would have maybe brought it up a little higher in my book, but that's one thing that they just didn't do. They didn't go, they didn't commit all the way. Overall, Eurovision Song Contest, the story of Fire Saga, is a fun faux look at this serious song contest that happens every year. With fun characters, gags, music, set pieces, and this overall goofy tone, but with some pacing problems and wishing that they would have gone further into everything, I would recommend checking out Eurovision. I mean, this is a fun movie movie for Netflix, you know, great characters up front, Will Ferrell, Rachel McAdams, and some catchy music, especially Ya Ya Ding Dong. In closing, I'm going to give Eurovision Song Contest, The Story of Fire Saga, 3.5 out of 5 number one hits. So what did you guys think of Eurovision Song Contest? Did you love this movie or are you very much looking forward to this musical comedy? I want to know in the comments down below. Anyways though, as always, thank you so much for watching. Watch some more videos up there or right over there, you know, brand new content every single week here on the JBox Studios channel. I don't know exactly what's coming in the next couple days, so stay tuned to my social media for all of that. Follow that down below. Stay tuned to all of this crap on JBox Studios. Subscribe to the channel, and until next time, we'll see you later.